All righty, boys, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you guys are having a great day, especially uh, with playing the beta. Um, I want to take a moment to talk about the submission system. And the reason why I'm focusing on this for now is because um, I'm, I'm seeing that's the aspect of the game that's really given a lot of people trouble, including really, really high level players. Now, this is not going to be a super in-depth tutorial for the submission system because I can't show you guys more than we've already seen. So a lot of the, f the footage you're going to see in this video is going to be just recycled from from things that you guys have already seen. So from the deep dive, the trailer, and a bunch of other things. Um, once I'm actually allowed to start showing gameplay from the game, we're gonna do an in-depth tutorial for the submission system because it, it it's quite a bit. Um, now, again, first things to keep in mind, for those of you that are brand new to the game, all right, you can play the submission system using um, the grapple assist. The grapple assist is sort of like a, like grappling with training wheels, right? You've got grapple assist, you've got legacy, and then you've got hybrid. Hybrid is a combination of both. The legacy grappling uh, gr grappling configuration is essentially like the old games, right? Where you have all your options available to you. But if you go into game settings and you go to gameplay and you go to where it says grappling, you're going to be able to switch it to grapple assist. So if you don't want to dive too deep into the submission system just yet, keep in mind that you can play the game you can play the submission system with grapple assist. So keep that in mind. Um, for the rest of you that are trying to dive into it, a few things to keep in mind. One, every single submission you enter is denied with R2 and up on the right stick. R2 and up on the right stick. Every single submission. It doesn't matter what submission you enter. So... When you enter a guillotine, or when you enter an armbar, or a kimura, or a heel hook, it's don't don't worry about denying left or right. It's always up. The moment you see them about to lock in a submission, it is always up to deny it. Now it's going to be up to you to learn the tells of every single submission that you find yourself in to let you know when the opponent is about to lock it in, right? So the way the transition-based submission system works, or the seamless submission, the way it works is, let's say you are in, let's say you're in mount, right? Your mount bottom. Your opponent enters the arm bar. You enter the arm bar position. And then from there, you're now in the seamless submissions. If you memorize the transition for them to submit you, it's going to be, they're going to do something like this, and then pull your arm. The moment you see that, R2 and up, you deny that. Um, the attacker has two options. They can either attempt to finish you with a submission, or they can improve their position. So for the arm bar, for example, if you enter TBS, if you enter the seamless submission in the arm bar, you have the opportunity to extend the arm and finish the arm bar, or you can take the back, all right? I would not suggest you guys trying to deny the second option they have right now just focus on denying the submissions that's what you need to get good at um and right now of course we don't have uh practice mode in the beta so those of you playing the beta what i would suggest is grab a friend of yours grab somebody that also has the beta that you know get on invite them get on and then if you have a capture card go through every single submission in the game and try to record the tells, all right? Record the starting frames of every single submission and memorize it. You know, record it, store it, take your time to go through them and memorize them so that when you see the starting animation of every submission, you're able to deny it. Now, just, that's just the first layer, okay? What I'm noticing a lot of people doing right now is once you put them in a submission, they start fucking spamming because... The defender can go left or right to escape the submission. It's always left or right, always. It's never anything else. So what I'm seeing people doing now is they're going left and then right and then left and then right. They're just spamming. And if you're facing someone that knows this submission system already, someone like me, that is just the worst thing you could possibly do in the whole entire world because you're going to gas yourself out. I'm going to deny every single attempt to escape very, very easily and your stamina is going to be gone, and even if you know exactly how to deny the actual submission attempt, you're going to be so low on stamina, you're not really going to be able to deny it. But most importantly, a big reason why you shouldn't do that is because, once again, if you face someone that knows what they're doing, they can use a new mechanic in the submissions to drain you even further, and that is the struggle mechanic. 
the struggle mechanic is done with the R, it was with R1, okay? When you find yourself in a submission, you can both struggle. Now, what the struggle does is it drains you and your opponent. It's essentially mimicking, you know, when you have someone in a submission and let's say you have someone in an arm bar, right? And they have this kind of grip preventing you from breaking, breaking their arm. The struggle mechanic um, mimics you struggling to get to get that arm loose. Now, as you're doing that, you're going to be tiring yourself out. But a lot of times, you're tiring your opponent out a lot faster. And that's what you're going to notice, right? If you both have the same stamina, when the attacker initiates a struggle, your the defender's stamina is going to go down more than the attacker's. You're both going to go down. Your stamina will go down. Your short-term stamina. But the defender's short-term stamina will go down more than the attacker's short-term stamina will go down. And when your short-term stamina hits zero, all right, you cannot deny a submission. You can't do it. If it hits zero, it is free every single time. So the game is never let your short-term stamina get to zero. That's the meta. So if I get you into a submission and I know that you know how to deny the actual attempt to finish you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start struggling. I'm going to start holding R1. I'm going to pump it. I might pump it a few times because when you pump it, the characters start to struggle. And that alone is enough to confuse you, right? I use the struggle mechanic as a way to hide my transition. So I might struggle and then try to lock in the sub. But if you, if I, if I struggle and try to lock it in and you deny it, I know, okay, you know what you're doing. So now we enter a mind game where I'm going to struggle and struggle and struggle. And you see your, your short-term stamina going down. So now you have to move, all right? It was put in the game so that the submission system does not become a stalling fest where you both enter and then we all, we, you know, we sit there. I'm not going to go because you, you can easily deny it and you're not going to try to escape because I can deny it. And so we both sit there. The struggle mechanic is designed to defeat that, to make, to force your opponent to do something. So if I enter an on ball and I see you just sitting there waiting, I'm going to start to struggle to force you to move. Now you got to do something because if you don't do something, I'm just going to drain you all the way to like get to your short term stamina to zero. And then it's a fucking free submission. So you got to move. When you move, you give me an opportunity to deny you, all right? Now, if I deny you, okay, now your short-term stamina is even lower, you're cooked. But that's not where this ends, okay? There's another additional mind game to that. If you fake and your opponent bites on the fake, okay, you actually get their short-term stamina lower than yours. And so the game is going to be if you enter TBS, if you enter seamless submissions, and you know that your opponent knows what they're doing. What you can do is you can fake your escape. They deny it. They bite on the deny. You notice their stamina go down. Then you start to cook them. You, you begin to struggle. Because now their short-term stamina will go down faster than yours. You see what I'm saying? As it goes down faster than yours, now they have to do something. Because if they don't do anything and their short-term stamina goes down a lot faster than yours and hits zero you get a free escape you can escape boom they can't deny it so that is the game all right it is a it is a ve it is a complex game okay but it's a game that once everybody learns once everyone learns how to play this game me and me and anthony romero it's the game we play right now like when we get into tbs when we get into the submission system it's like a, it's a mind game because i cook him he cooks me i cook then he cooks by cooking, I mean the struggle mechanic, like burn stamina. And then if I if he gets my stamina low to a point that I don't like, there's another option where, and he starts to try to submit me, I race. Okay, by racing, what I mean by that is you can race the submission with an escape. If you have a submission lead, right, and you believe your opponent is going to submit you, and let's say you miss that deny, you can immediately race it. So the moment they start extending your arm, race. It mimics what happens when someone is extending your arm and you go for a hitchhiker escape in jiu-jitsu, for example, right? So like I said, all I'm doing right now is just giving you, those of you that, that are smart enough to understand what I'm saying, I'm gonna, I want to give you just options to think about when you're playing it, okay? So that you don't think the system is all about deny, don't deny, 
Deny, don't deny. It's way deeper than that. And if you find that you're getting submitted over and over and over again, I need you to be patient. I need you to give it time. I need you to understand that the submission system is a brand new system. You're not going to get good at it in two days. The beta has only been out for like two days. It's going to take you a while. All right. I've been playing this game for a minute. Okay. And it took me a, it took me a while to get good at it. I had to practice it over and over again with Romero. And I had to memorize a lot of the tells, a lot of the escapes, and then we and then we had to dive even deeper than that and learn the mind games that was built into it. This this system was meant to be played at a very high level. And it's only a matter of time before all these high level players that are getting submitted right now will no longer be getting submitted. All of you that's are that are getting tapped right now, don't you're you're not gonna be getting tapped. Give it a week. Give it a week and you're no longer going to be getting tapped because you guys are smart. You learn the game very quickly. So even though it feels so OP right now, just take a breath. Take a breath. Because a lot of you, what you're doing right now is akin to somebody holding you in sight control and you keep going left and right and left and right and left and right to, to escape. That's a, that's, you'll just be pinned in sight control forever. you never escape. You need to be a bit more, you need to have a bit more finesse with it. All right, understand the system you're dealing with. Um, so that's just a few things to try to keep in mind. Um, the last thing that I'm going to mention is um, because of how complex the submission system is, um, that's why the submission bar was added to the game because the submission bar gives you more chances, right? The first time, depending on your fighter stats, right? It might take up to three submission attempts to actually finish you. Um, if your fighter is really, really, really good with submissions and the other fighter is not good with submissions, and let's say you get their stamina very, very low and then you put them in a submission, you could sub them one chance, all right? So it's it's it depends on the character. It depends on the skill. It depends on the stamina. It depends on a, v a variety of things. But there is a submission bar. So if you mess up, and your opponent locks in a submission the first time, that's not the end of the world. A lot of times you have two more chances to not get tapped, okay? And it's already not easy to get people down to the ground in this game. It's already not easy to even enter a submission, let alone finish it. You know what I mean? So just keep in mind, this is a well-thought-out system. Those of you that are screaming, it is overpowered, nerf it, nerf it. In a week, you guys are going to be asking for a buff, I promise you that because right now me and Romero, like, and those of us that have played the game, we're thinking, yo, like, this thing might need to be buffed. And I know it sounds crazy. Like, yo, what are you talking about? It might need to be buffed. It might need to be buffed. And you guys are going to realize that the more you play, the better you get, you're no longer going to be getting submitted. It's just not going to happen. All right. So, um, hope you hope this gives you guys just some idea. It helps you figure things out practice it practice it because once this game drops we're hitting the ground running and you don't want to be left behind you really don't so thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below and i will do my very best to answer whatever questions you guys have okay thanks for watching i'll see you guys later peace out have a good one